know, Grade 11s, try some of the tasks we have put together for you to check that you have understood this work on surface area and volume. The tasks are graded from easy to more difficult, so work through them in order and then check your answers later. The series guide, which is called a guide to revising area and volume, provides all these tasks in written form too. Let's start with the questions. Is this the right prism? Motivate your answer. What shape is the base of this prism? What is this object called? Is it a right prism? Motivate your answer. Here are four formulae. Select which formula is the correct one for calculating the surface area of this object. A third pi r squared times h, four times pi r squared, pi r squared plus pi r times s, two pi r squared plus two pi r times h. Determine the volume of this prism if the pattern is folded. Calculate the volume of a swimming pool that has the following dimensions. A length of 10 meters, a breadth of 4,2 meters, and a constant depth of 1,2 meters. Question 5 is divided into two parts. You will need to copy the diagram. So have a pen and paper ready. Calculate the volume of this storage facility. Now calculate how many liters of paint you would need to paint the exterior of this entire storage facility with one coat if one liter of paint will cover approximately 15 square meters. Calculate the volume of this soccer tournament trophy. And finally, the real brain stretcher. Using the given symbols, write down the volume and the surface area of this figure. Hint, break this complex figure up into two figures that you recognize. I hope you have enjoyed these tasks and that you are feeling more confident about calculating volume and surface area of three-dimensional objects. Remember to check your calculations in the series guide. You can also find more resources on this section on our website www.mindset.co.za Goodbye!